Hello and welcome to another video here where we are flying the PMDG 737 um, We're flying the 800 here but it's the same for all the models <coughs> 6, 7 and 900 as well So before I made a video flying LNAV mode If you watched the video already then uh, perfect fly along uh, with the VNAV mode here If you're not familiar with flying LNAV mode I highly recommend you watch the video first Which is a really quick video, short video, gets you going flying LNAV, setting up routes uh, A little bit more into detail than what we're going to do here now um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's satisfying to fly this LNAV mode using the altitude uh, mode here, and saves you a lot of setting up in the FMC. So, um, knowing how to fly in LNAV mode, let's jump onto flying in a combination of LNAV and VNAV together here. Uh, to start off, again, we're gonna dive into the almighty FMC. <laughs> uh, go into position, and we are flying from. Uh, if I open up the nav lock here. From uh, CICG, CICG, reference airport, you simply hit root and it's still in scratch pad, so you can fill it in there. And we're flying to Kelowna, it's a really interesting uh, VNAV approach, and that's why I want to set it up. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm gonna explain shortly here what's a little bit strange about this route here, uh, but interesting at the same time. CLLW. And we can close this page here. And uh, then we're going to go to the next page. Um, yeah, so this runway here, it's not realistic to take off from this runway. But this runway, this airport is close by Kelowna. So it's uh, perfect for practicing VNAVs because you will be at Kelowna in 50 minutes, 5-0. So that's just perfect. All other uh, airports are quite far away or you have to start somewhere mid-air, which is just not convenient. Um, so yeah, we hit, we, uh, hit next page here to get into the route. Uh, actually, we want to set up the runway here, uh, 3 3. It's not necessary, but we can do it. Uh, next page. And then we can start off by filling up the um, VNAV uh, waypoints. So I'll add in the approach chart of Kelowna. Normally, you would have a few more uh, waypoints uh, from your departure and from your uh, yeah your flight and then your final approach but it's all the same so we're gonna fill in the approach here which is the more difficult part and if you know the approach you will know how to set up the whole route uh, so starting off with ICNAP I will show the approach chart somewhere here or here perhaps uh, ICNAP going next to Xuga. GSA, 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 and then to Foget. Foget. There's something weird going on with the route here. Um, I'm gonna just fill them in like the approach chart, and then you know what I mean here. Um, then you go to Xutvo. Uh, and notice that we're already on the glide path from Xutvo. Um, so this is not a glide slope because we're flying an RNF approach. So it's not an ILS, so it's not a glide path. It's a, it's a glide slope, so it's a glide path. It's a GPS uh, route, this VNAV, and that's a glide path, not a glide slope. Um, so Xutvo and then both that, we can simply follow the glide path there. Setting up the waypoints easier without going all over the approach chart. Xubom. Xubom. Like that. And now I'm going to fill in Imado and what, what, uh, watch what's going to happen. I do this on purpose. Imado. There we go. We are coming back here. So that's strange. We want to replace that one. We want to replace that one by Vobuck straight away. Vobuck. We're skipping Otkin because it's the same. So we fill in Vobok, so we fixed our route, but we got the discontinuity and, and Imado is still here. To get rid of it, we simply hit delete, delete will show up in the scratch pad, we can delete it, and the route is fixed. Hit activate, and execute. Now we still need more information for the approach, so we go to departure and approach plate, go to departure, we're going to use the runway 33, uh, there's no uh, departure here, so we're going to go execute, index again, arrivals, and then we go to an RNF, 34. It's on page 3. RNF 34. And we're not going to pick a star because we have our star basically set up ourselves. So we're going to hit execute because this, these, these stars, they, they mess up the whole route. So I prefer to use an approach chart. Hit execute. Then we go to the next page. And we're going to check for any discontinuities. And there's one. We want to fix that by taking the waypoint which is after discontinuity. 
bring it, fill it in there, hit execute again, and the part is fixed. Then, same as in the LNF video, we want to go to PLN mode, and we want to step through the route here while watching on the ND, navigation display, this one. And there will be one strange thing showing up here, going from Xubom to Savup, and there's Fobok between, which is somehow over there, and yeah, it's, it's slightly messed up. So we're going to go to Xubom to Savup by going like this. Hit execute, and we've got a nice just one route, waypoint after waypoint. Now we go to previous page. I want to go to map mode again for this one. Uh, this one we can keep on, a, yeah, the range is fine. Now we're going to set up the actual VNAV information. So we go to ICNAP first, which is 9000 feet. It's indicating 210 speed. We're going to fly at 250 speed, which is fine. Gets us there a little faster. And we will be able to slow, to slow down there anyway. Next up, Xuga. So you're going to check in the chart Xuga, which is 8600. And we can still manage 250 speed there easily. And 8600. There we go. And then from Xuga we go to uh, Vogret, which is 6800. So we go, we want to slow down here already a little bit. So we go to 200, and which is uh, 6800. <coughs> and Xutvo, we go 5600, and we're on the glide path then. So uh, another one, uh, yeah, another 200, 5600. And then both that. Um, Xutvo actually is indicating on the chart as 190 already, so we're going to crack that one. We're going to make 190, 5600. There we go, 190 is adjusted there. And then we go to both that uh, while flying 5000. We want to slow down a bit more there because this is a very fast descent here, so we're going to go to 170 already. It's going to require some drag, but that will be fine. Um, and then 5000. And the next page we go to Xubom, and Xubom is uh, once 4400, and we're gonna pick 160 here, 4400. And then we wanna go to 150, and 3200 is already there. You cannot fill it in like that as you see, so you simply wanna go to 150, make the 3200 there as well, and then you can simply fill it in. Uh, then we got our Vobok, which basically will be hand flying somewhere here already. I guess it will be somewhere here already. And our final approach will be 145. And we want to fill up this gap here. So we want to go to 3000. 145 again. 2600 will be a nice figure. And this one already, never mind. It's a, it's a 145, which will be our approach. But we're hand flying here. 2460. <coughs> 2460. Yeah, <laughs> all right, and then uh, hit execute. That's it. But to fly the VNAV mode, the plane needs more information. So, first, we're going to set up our speed here, which is 250. 250. Our altitude is 9000. We're going to switch from the flight directors both sides. Oh, that one. So then we got the MCP set up, the mode control panel. Uh, the speed is dialed in, the altitude is set up. Um, then the plane needs more information because we cannot enable VNAV mode here. We cannot enable LNAV either because the runway is uh, and our course line, uh, yeah, there's a difference more than five degrees. So you cannot enable LNAV either. If your um, heading would be going like this and then either left or right, you will be able to en engage LNAV, which you would like to do as well. Uh, it's simply not possible here. To uh, engage VNAV, the plane needs more information. So we go to this button here, and we have to fill in this one. You don't need performance calculators uh, watching my video, because I don't like to pay more than uh, paying for the PMG already. So we're simply going to go the easy way here. 9000 feet. Reserve. can pick anything random here. 2.7 is fine. Cost the next 100, because we want full power. Hit execute there. Unable to reach 250 at ICNAP, that's never mind, that's fine because our top of climb is so close by the plane will simply not be able to reach um, 250, which is fine. Clear the message. Go to N1 limits, take off, 
flaps are set to 5 for takeoff as you can see here so we're gonna send flaps 5 you got your V1, V rotate and V2 then you go to the legs page again we can still not engage VNAV but that's fine we will do it shortly after takeoff so we can turn up some lights here just in case we get some shadow showing up in the cockpit after taking off something I like to do the overhead panel the landing lights because we will taking off underneath 10,000 feet obviously yeah it's, uh, it's a short runway so we want to spool up the engines here it's not realistic again that's why I'm not switching on any any information here terrain and whatsoever we'll get terrain calls anyway so spool up the engines and you will be able to just make it off the runway which is also not very realistic but you will be able to make it off the runway and you can practice a really awesome uh, approach into Kelowna Kaar V1 and VR coming up there slowly start pulling back all right, start pitching up towards the 5 degrees, 7 degrees, just miss the trees, bring up the gear, start banking left straight away, because we'll get terrain calls from this mountain terrain, otherwise, terrain. yep, there we go. Terrain, terrain. Get rid of left 5, because we want to gain some speed here. bring away all the flaps here you can switch on LNF mode here because we are not deviating more than 5 degrees anymore we got our flight director showing up here we can switch on VNAV mode so we got both flight directors and you can already switch on the autopilot and the plane is flying a full VNAV LNF mode switch on terrain mode the plane is climbing itself I want to get some more airspeed, that's why it's pitching down again. It will soon start pitching up more again. Wanna switch on data, which is interesting when you reach your first waypoints. You got times and the actual altitude showing at your waypoints. So you don't need to look down all the time to your FMC. You can uh, focus on your ND as well. If I'm not mistaken, if you go to planning mode, yes, you can see it as well. So you see your time of arrival and your altitude, which you all dialed in at your waypoint. So you got your top of descent, your deceleration point, and all the corresponding waypoints. So it's just easier than looking down at the, at the FMC all the time. <coughs> and then there's one really important thing, uh, which you have to remember flying in VNAV mode. Um, and then you can uh, move on to the second video about flying a VNF, which are where I fly the full route. So it, it doesn't make sense to make to uh, make a, another full video about this. Just uh, fly along with me when I'm flying the Kelowna approach, and you will know what I'm talking about here. Um, so you got 9,000 dialed in. Before reaching the next waypoint, Xuga, the upcoming one, let's say, you want to dial in the corresponding uh, altitude. So uh, a few miles away from Ignap, you want to dial in 8,600. A few miles away before reaching Vogue, you want to dial in 6,800 and so on. If you are too late, the plane will stay on the altitude which you are set up uh, last time. So in this case, if you reach Ignap and you start to fly towards Xuga, the plane will simply still sit at 9,000 feet. If you are not too late, there is an easy way to fix this. You have to, you have to go to 8,600 next waypoint you can dial in 8600 click this button if you're not too far behind uh, yeah after the next waypoint and the plane will manage in vnav mode if not yeah you have to pitch down or or yeah make a turn and 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 fly the, yeah continue on the route or somehow fix it but yeah just keep an eye on these uh, upcoming altitudes that you dial them in in advance normally i keep an eye here where it's slowing showing the distance to the next waypoint when you are ND, there will be the distance showing, so you have all in one screen here showing what you have to do. Simply dial in 8600 when you are like five, five miles away is already fine. So um, that's how you set up VNAV, take off and engage the VNAV, make sure your flight directors are on. 
make all, uh, make sure your performance page is set up very easy and fast just using the in-game uh, weight and balance here and, and some uh, basic information like 100% on the uh, cost index and just a random reserve um, so that's basically how you get going flying VNAV and LNAV uh, instead of LNAV alone now I um, advise you to move on to the next video which will add in the description and link here also where I'll be flying the full route so you can skip forward in the video and uh, join along flying the uh, awesome VNAV approach into Kelowna and make a manual landing. So I hope this uh, clears up a little bit and, and, and gets you going on VNAV, uh, LNAV combination mode here which is really nice and interesting. Um, so yeah, I, I hope it helps and uh, have fun flying the VNAV and LNAV mode. I'll see you in the next video and after that uh, I'm sure you will manage. So uh, see you over there and uh, thanks for watching.